So this is a quick video about what to do if your Lecrosse pot chips. Uh, I'm specifically addressing the Lecrosse cast iron coated enamel series, which is kind of their main thing, but they do have other type of uh, pots and pans out there. So basically there's two types of chips. One is going to be an exterior chip, something like this. And these happen fairly regularly through day-to-day uh, -day use. You're washing it, you put it down too hard, it chips. If that happens, there's really not much to be done. This is an exterior chip, and uh, I think they are technically covered under warranty. But they don't affect the potter pan. So there's really nothing to worry about. Aesthetically, obviously, they're bothersome, but it doesn't affect the pan itself. The other type of chip is what we have right here, and this is an interior one. If this happens, then you wanna stop using your, pa your pot, in this case, immediately. Uh, and that's not because the interior is dangerous or anything like that, it's just cast iron, but you don't want this to chip any further and possibly you're gonna eat a sharp piece of enamel. So if you see a chip inside, stop using it immediately. It could chip further. In fact, it probably will. Uh, and then what you're gonna do is uh, basically get an understanding of how bad the chip is, figure out what pot or pan you have. And uh, to do that, you're gonna wanna use, I'll show you right now, use this information say that 23 and these numbers over here, that's the identifying information. And then give Lecrosse a call. They will tell you what to do. In most cases, if it's a chip like this one, they will say, okay, here's an RMA number. That's a return number. Ship us the pot or pan, regardless of the condition, even if it's in pretty good condition like this one, ship it in, we will inspect it. And if it meets our requirements, they will give you a new one. Uh, you can't fix a chipped enamel, it's, that's it. It's no longer good and uh, they'll send you a new one. So uh, this one is an RMA candidate. I'll be shipping it back to Le Creuset very soon and I'll follow up with the results. But uh, I guess, and yeah, the last part is, I don't know how this happened. Uh, I have taken care of this. Obviously it's, it could use a good cleaning. It's stained and it has been used with a, a metal, obviously you could see from over here on the right side there, it has been used with some acid. Uh, I think those are all kind of standard wear and tear type things, but I don't know what happened here. It didn't get dropped or banged or anything like that. This might've been a structural defect in the enamel, but I've had this thing for, I wanna say nine or 10 years. So it seems unlikely that it was a structural defect and maybe something just hit it really hard. Uh, I guess we'll see. And uh, within, I think I'll ship this to Le Creuset soon. And then I, they say within 10 to 15 days after they receive it, they will give you a verdict on whether they're able to replace it or not. So that's it. Thanks for watching.